started with playing the piano. My mother was a pianist. She had a scholarship to Juilliard, and her mother, by the way, was a choir director and also an organist. And so music was part of my family, and uh, so it was very much a sort of that Decided that I would play an instrument, and I said the drums. So the it's another part of my life is magic. I, being a performing magician and whatnot, um, I probably saw Mark Wilson, which is another Mark Wilson, not me. I'm the other Mark Wilson. We always jokingly say in the magic community here in Austin. But I saw him on television. He was one of the first uh, popular magicians to do primetime television shows in the morning and later Mark Wilson uh, Search of the Stars. But that inspired me. I knew that I loved magic. So I started buying uh, props and things and playing with magic. This is actually my first magic trick I ever purchased. I got this when I was a child. This is um, a small box of matches, a wee box of matches. And I'm gonna hold it out like this. Now inside there, you couldn't see it, but actually sleeping right on that third match from the right was a wee ghosty. He was sleeping right there. We're just gonna give it a bit of a wiggle, you see, and try to make him come out. Say hello. There he goes. You see him, he's just there. He's right on the end there. And then music sort of continued all through high school until I got out of high school and then I moved into to college. I said, all right, I want to go to college. I want to, be, I want to be a film composer because another thing that was a big hobby of mine as a child was movies. So in the, in the beginning, I had played in bands. I had done some jingle production with a friend. I'd learned studio uh, technique from a guy who had his own studio. We did a lot of recording and songwriting. I learned live sound. I learned some stuff about computers. This is my post-production suite. So this is designed to edit films, do film scoring, uh, anything that would that involve the, during the post-production process. So I tend to record downstairs and then I'll bring the material up here to finish up. Or in the case of uh, MIDI composition and, uh, and digital workstation music production, film scoring, that kind of thing, I'll work with the system here and actually create the music in the box, so to speak, using controllers and things plugged in directly. So where I am now, is sort of a reflection of, at least in the job market and skills versus what I do for income versus enjoyment, is that developed a way over time to make income streams from all the various things I do. That's probably the easiest way to put it. To start off with a bite to eat shoulder. And it's really just a, a function of the process that I took, what what career I went into and what you order, sure and then how that led to Good other snap opportunities. Of the I think it's really about just keeping your mind open to, to the possibility of any sort of, any sort of skill that's related to what you know and being willing and not afraid to jump in and try it. Turn your hand over. Turn your hand over like that. If you look really close, you're going to see oh, it's kind of inside the knee. Turn, open your hand up. Yeah, wait, you got two there. Hang on, it didn't work, right? <laughs> Let's try it again. It was a little rough. But it still fooled you, yes? <laughs> it's persistence. You know, I call it riding the train. Whenever the train let, let you get on board, you don't just do it for a few months and then change trains and jump off the train. You stay on the train until it reaches its destination and the, or the conductor kicks you off, right? So that's true with everything in my life. I try to juggle all the balls, keep them all in the air, and keep doing everything.
I can think of no advice that anyone gave me that was inspirational. Sadly, I must say. Uh, I'm sure someone did. I probably didn't listen at the time. Everything I've done, I pretty much figured out on my own. Yes, I